Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll show you a few different ways you can share your screen in a Microsoft Teams meeting. You know, a lot of people struggle with this. They fumble when trying to share their screen and don't exactly know what's being displayed for everyone. I mean, how often do you hear someone say, you guys see my screen? Or are you seeing my presentation slide? I've seen people share their entire desktop, not realizing that everyone can read their personal chats and emails. And honestly, this is understandable. Teams is still relatively new, and a lot of us just don't understand when to use the different screen share options. So in this video, I'm gonna explain the three main options you have in Teams for screen sharing and when to use them. Okay, so I'm gonna start a meeting in Teams just with myself so that I can demonstrate the different options. I'll click on Meet Now, then Join Now. On the top right, we can select the icon to share our screen. There is a shortcut that we can use, Control Shift and E. When we click on it, on the bottom here, we see a few different options. Okay, so we have an option to share our desktop, our window, PowerPoint, and whiteboard. Whiteboard I'm gonna ignore for the purpose of this video. So let's first look at the option to share our desktop. You see that I have screen number one listed. I'm only using one monitor. If I had multiple monitors, they'd be listed as screen number one, screen number two, so on and so forth. And we choose this option if you want to share our entire screen. It'll share the display for everything that is within the red outline. So this includes notification and other desktop activities that may occur. And this is the best option if you want to share multiple windows. So maybe we want to show our Word document on one side and then show an Excel document on the other side, okay? Or maybe we wanna just seamlessly toggle back and forth between the two in full screen mode. I'm gonna stop sharing and go back to share content. The second option is to share our window so here, all our active windows are displayed. Simply choose the one we want to share. I'll select the Word document, for example. The meeting members will only see this window and nothing else. Uh, we can move this window around and even bring up another window to be the active window above it, but the viewers will only see the window within the red border, which is the Word document. And this option is great if you want to show just one thing. You can continue to use your other windows, like take notes on a note-taking app or check your email or whatever, and no one will see them. Uh, this is the option that I use the most as it prevents me from accidentally displaying content that I don't want people to see. I'm gonna stop sharing, go back to share content. And the third option is the PowerPoint option. So here we see some of the recent PowerPoint files that are saved in my team SharePoint site and my OneDrive. Uh, so we can select one of these files or you can browse for a different one. When you browse, it'll only give you an option to upload a, a PowerPoint file. So if you choose a file that is stored in our local computer, Teams will upload a copy to the meeting file tab. So I'm just gonna select this example here so we choose this option if you want to share our presentation to be interactive and give the users the option to move through the slides at their own pace. Okay, so here you see that slide one to four, they can click through. Even if I'm on slide one, the viewers can actually click through to the other slides. You can of course disable this option if you want everyone to be on the same page. You can click on this icon, okay? And it says here, allow participants to move through, share a presentation on their own. Uh, no, okay? Enable, disable. I'm gonna stop presenting. So the last thing that I wanna show you here is how you can share your computer sound. I don't think a lot of people realize this option is here. So this time I'm gonna share the same PowerPoint presentation, but in the Windows screen share mode. I'm gonna go ahead and move to slide five where we have the video content. 
Now, if you didn't enable the share computer sound option, none of your teammates are going to hear any audio here. So it's important that you enable that. Now, if you didn't enable that option earlier, you can always use the team's control bar to toggle on and off the computer sound share option. So I want to mention one important thing here. If you have the share computer audio enabled and someone else is speaking, they're going to hear an echo. And the reason for that is they're hearing their voice through your computer sound card. So they're going to speak and they're going to hear their own voice echo back to them. So it's important that if you're not sharing content with audio, you should toggle that button off. Only when you're sharing audio, you should leave that on. All right, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you found this video to be helpful. Thanks and bye now.